a warm welcome to all so we finished our the first half the first series polypetale and among polypetale you studied anonesia nymphiesia fabesia cisalpiniesia mimosaceae then myrtaceae apiaceae anacardiaceae etc okay now we are moving on to the gametophyte subclass and first family rubiaceae okay so the systematic position rubiaceae belongs to gametophyte subclass then uh, series inferiae and order rubiales family rubiaceae so by looking upon these plants you are familiar with this family okay so i think all these plants are in the renewer garden and most famous flowers that we are usually dealing with and this all belongs to the family rubiaceae so let us be uh, in detail about the family okay so distribution it is usually known as madder or coffee family because coffee plant belongs to this family and it include about 6000 species and 500 genera okay and in india there is about 550 species and members are distributed in tropic subtropical and temperate region all over the world you can see the members of the family rubiaceae and its habit usually they are shrubs you know chekki that is ixora hmm? our common gandharajan gardenia hmm? coffee they are all shrubs and very few are herbs that are rubia and gallium okay and its root is dichotomously branched tap root system and about the stem the stem of these uh, members are erect woody herbaceous twining or climbing some may climbing by hoops but usually they are herbaceous forms branched or cylindrical uh, hairy or in some cases usually smooth okay now about the leaves leaves are colline that is attached on the stem and hairy in some cases opposite or verticillate okay the leaves may be simple entire or toothed what is the condition of toothed simple entire or toothed uh, margins are serrated or toothed like structure and stipules are usually bristle like stipules are very important in this family by looking upon the arrangement or nature or position of stipules you can identify the members of this family hmm? usually stipules are present in between the petioles of opposite leaves hmm? that is interpetiolar stipules that is interpetiolar stipules see for example i will draw the diagram how it is look like see uh in this case you can see if it is the stem if it is the stem what is the opposite condition this is the opposite leaf condition this from the node one leaf here also another leaf okay so what, where you can see the inter petiolar stipules in between this that stipules arises here that is the inter petiolar stipules okay so between the petioles so opposite leaves so this is the one condition now next node what is the case of leaf one leaf here and one leaf here so that's the opposite condition and most commonly the condition is opposite decussit what is opposite decussit if this leaves are like this imagine this is a leaf like this and this is another leaf with petiole and this arranged like this okay opposite leaves okay now op another one in reverse case in the next node okay so that is opposite decussit arrangement of leaves opposite decussit arrangement of leaves see that is most interpetiolar or intrapetiolar in between or in um, in the petioles okay so that is interpetiolar stipules opposite decussit leaf this is identifying feature of the family rubiaceae okay now uh next is that is a very important point now next is about the inflorescence inflorescence is solitary usually in gardenia gardenia is gandharajan single flower usually cymos or globos head okay then uh, panicle cyme in the case of coffee it is usually cyme in the case of masanda you know masanda plant that's also cymos inflorescence this is a hemelia 
Hemilia flowers having scorpioid side. You know, you studied about the scorpioid side. On one side, uh, particular manner, sorry, it is helicoid side. In one side, alternate arrangement. In only on in the one part. If it is that axis of inflorescence, then flowers one flower here, then next flower here, then next flower here, another flower here, another flower here. Likewise, it bent. That is known as what? Helicoid sign. So, this is an example of helicoid sign. See the condition of bending. You see, this is the helicoid sign. So, helicoid sign is present in Hemilia. Now, flowers actinomorphic. When you cut at any plane, you will get two equal halves. Rarely, it is psychomorphic. Bisexual flowers are the uh, unisexual flowers in one or two plant only. Epigynous. These are the typical features of the family. See, actinomorphic then always usually majority bisexual and epigynous is very important point what is inferior ovary then bracteate and abracteate sometimes then tetra usually tetramerous condition tetramerous four and it's a multiples clear actinomorphic bisexual epigynous tetramerous condition now the calyx calyx contains sepals usually four or five Four is the typical condition. Gamosepalus means that is fused. That is also important. All conditions are gamo. Gamo petale. Okay. Then some cases sepals modified into colored bract. Very important point. You have to remember this. Colored bract. Like in our mosanda. You know by looking into the mosanda you will be attracted by its colorful leaf like structure. Actually that is the modified sepals. Sepals become colored. That is the portion present. Hmm? Then about corolla that is also petals 4 or 5 gamopetalus uh, funnel shaped or tubular. In the case of Ixora checki that is tubular corolla. Valvator or twisted estivation. See this is a case of Hemilia flower and uh, next andresia you can see the picture that is why I am showing. This is the petals that is 4 petals clear tetramerous condition 4 petals ok. Then about the stamens, you can say stamen 1, 2, 3, 4, alternate to the petals. This is one petal in between. Alternate to the petal, what is present stamens. And they are uh, in, uh, inserted usually near the mouth of the corolla. This is the mouth of the corolla. This is the tube, corolla tube, where it is present. Okay. And stamens are usually diticus conditions. Five in gardenia. All others usually four stamens present. Gynetium is very important, bicapillary gynetium, uh, syncarpus inferior. Bicarpillary is very important point, you have to remember bicapillary condition. Then inferior ovary is another important point, rarely half inferior, that is perigynous. Usually bilocular condition, but some cases unilocular may occur. Presentation is typically axile in some parietal presentation. Style is bifid, that is bicapillary condition of uh, carpels because uh, style is also bifid. Stigma is simple. Then fruit is capsules and uh, masanda hemilia, the fruit is berry. See, this is a fruit of coffee, that is a berry. Okay. Now look upon the economic importance. So, typical flower feature is tetramerous, actinomorphic, bisexual, bicarpillary. Epigynous, that is inferior ovary. So, and also opposite ducaset leaf with the interpetiolar stipules. This is a typical feature of the family Rubiaceae. Clear? Okay. Now, economic importance. By looking into economic importance, there are medicinal plants. Usually, you may be heard about this plant, Cinchona. Cinchona officinalis that yield a medicine, namely Cunin, that is used for malaria fever. Okay. And rubia roots are also used as medicine. Then beverage plant. What is beverage? Any items that we can drink, drinkable items are uh, usually known as beverages. Coffee and tea are beverages. So important beverage namely coffee is, uh, belongs to the family Rubiaceae. That is two types of coffee are there. Coffea arabica and coffea robusta. Two varieties of species. Coffea arabica and coffea robusta. Okay. So, the seeds are um, grinded or powdered to obtain coffee powder. Okay. Then ornamental plants, many ornamental plants are there. You know different colored Ixora is there, Chekki is there, different colored Mosanda is there. What is the color of Mosanda? That actually determines the color of sepals. Okay. 
then hemelia is their gardenia also then what are the primitive char characters of rubiaceae they are mostly trees and shrubs because you know herbs are the advanced feature here it is shrubs leaves simple and stipulated leaves flowers bisexual azygomorphy uh, is the advanced condition here flowers are actinomorphy unisexual is the advanced here flowers are bisexual then polyandrous stamens then ovule anatropous endospermic seed what are the advanced character some plants herbs okay then epigynous condition is an advanced feature epigyny is advanced hypogyny is primitive okay then calyx and corolla fused gametopetalous gametopalous conditions okay then stamens epipetalous what is epipetalous stamen stamen on the petal you know where it is present at the mouth of the corolla stamens present okay carpels number reduced to two bicarpellary in condition now uh, tree uh, many are trees or herbs leaves alternate or opposite that are the typical feature of the rubiaceae family interpetiolar or inter uh, intrapetiolar stipules cymose inflorescence tetra or pentamerous flower usually tetrameres bisexual or hermaphrodite another term is hermaphrodite for bisexual actinomorphic epigynous corolla gametopetalous four out of five stamens epipetalous condition inferior ovary and bilocular condition okay then fruit is a capsule or berry this is the uh, illustration of hemelia patterns so hemelia you can see here uh, the condition is five five sepals five petals all are united five stamens also okay now this is the ixora that is checky uh, it's a illustration see four petals are present four petals this is the corolla tube clear this is a corolla tubular corolla this is a corolla tube at its apex the petals arranged all are uh, complete this is the corolla part of corolla this is the calyx at the base so you can see this flower in cymos in fluorescence so just to take one flower how will you take you have to um, take care the, uh, you have to pluck from the base of base uh, from the inflorescence so what is the base base is a sepal calyx that is some brown colored or green colored structure so you have to take it so it is very small very small structure sepals so that are all united condition this is this all part is actually the part of corolla it is tubular corolla there are four stamens also this is one stamen this is another stamen uh, this is another stamen and this is another four stamens okay so this is what this is a part of corolla tube clear four stamens are present now see this is the stamens nature and this is the ovary bicapillary condition so this is the floral diagram 1 2 3 4 sepals valvate estivation 1 2 3 4 four petals uh, that is twisted estivation then bicapillary and four stamens one point here left is what epipetalous so you have to uh, put a mark here that is left here epipetalous means what petals and stamens are united okay stamens attached on the petals clear now uh, some plants i uh, i can show you that will be useful for you this is the plant belongs to this family this is known as morinda citrifolia that is in malayalam you can call it as noni this is very important highly medicinal plant uh, a medicine noni is extracted from this that is morinda citrifolia available along the uh, wetland areas and laterite soil also very common plant and its fruit is usually asking for examination it's a very good example um, and uh, next is what this is also very common plant known as mitracarpus verticillatus available in your field you just uh, roam around you can see this plant in everywhere it is growing and small white flowers in the nodal region see opposite leaves opposite decussate conditions okay that is mitracarpus verticillatus you can prepare as herbal now this is also another very common plant very common weed uh, and this is known as olden landia corymbosa very small white flowers all uh, cases you can see here it is five here it is four petal here it is also four tetrameres condition and this is also another very common garden plant known as pentas lanceolatus 
different colors available violet rose red white everything available pentas lanceolatus look into the arrangement of uh, arrangement of the leaf this is also another very common plant now the, uh, recently this its pictures coming in the facebook and whatsapp and even social media look like our corona virus that is neolamarkia kadamba it's known as known as kadambu in malayalam aattu kadambu hmm? neolamarkia kadamba okay it's a tree then this is the hemilia patterns that i have already shown you hemilia patterns these are some very common plants available in our area okay now again uh, this plant also familiar with you in most of the gardens you can see this a very traditional flower that is gardenia jasminoids because look like our jasmine flower mulla and also it's highly fragrance its fragrance is very sweet uh, that's why it's the name jasminoids gardenia jasminoids this is very common uh, plant available in our field uh, it is cart copy this is known as chesalia curvy flora very common uh, grape color grapes color its corolla tube is like a color of grapes okay sometimes a white uh, light rose color flower or usually grape color flowers in very common in our field this is chesalia curvy flora don't confuse this plant with ravolfia serpentina sarpagandhi that is available uh, in our area and that is uh, belongs to aposinaceae okay so you can uh, uh, remove your confusion by looking into the arrangement of leaf opposite ducaset leaf that is a typical feature of the family rubiaceae this is chasalia curvy flora okay this is usually asking for examination a very common plant this is another very common plant that i already told you coffee that is coffea arabica coffee flower okay and this is also very common to you that is vellila or mosanda that is mosanda frondosa very common plant mosanda frondosa that is uh, that amma karumbi molu velumbi mole moluru sundari koda uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the grand uh, means uh, mother uh, then uh, that's a green leaf that is called as darkened then this is a most whitened mother and this is a most sweet beautiful uh, child okay so this is a very common plant mosanda frondosa and this is another very common plant ixora coccinea chicki different colors it is available and this is also uh, a garden variety of mosanda uh, that is known as mosanda philippica mosanda philippica garden variety rose color one red color is there mosanda erythrophylla so mosanda philippica mosanda frondosa wild variety then gardenia jasminoides chesalia curvy flora coffea arabica familiarize all these plants they are very common in our area and you can uh, take and prepare your herbarium from these plants okay so i hope you understood well so typical feature of rubiaceae family that belongs to gamopetale fused petals very important point inferior ovary that is uh, then another peculiar feature is presence of interpetiolar stipules opposite ducaset leaf arrangement and stamens epipetalous then corolla tube gynecium with the epigyne very important point inferior ovary and by carpillary condition clear so i hope you understood well so that's all for all for today have a nice day thank you